Stormdrum is a library that's literally been everywhere. It's in film, it's in TV, it's in games, it's everywhere. It's come to the point where there was a while ago where friends of mine and I would play video games and we would hear some tones and be able to recognize storm drum. Now that's not to say that it's become, you know, bland or passe. It's definitely one of the best drum libraries out there on the planet for cinematic drum sounds, things that are big. Nothing before this sounded as huge and cinematic as storm drums. These are really the industry standard for cinematic drum sound. Now, Storm Drum 1 was great. If we go in and we check out, you know, the Tycho's, this was their earthquake ensemble from uh, Storm Drum 1. And that's really great. But when we look at the earthquake ensemble that they included for Storm Drum 2, you hear just the kind of evolution that's taken place. really awesome stuff. Now granted, that's uh, one step away from Tycho's. They still do have Tycho's available to us. I believe that it's in the uh, Zendrum program. But you can still hear that it's really taken a step up in quality. And the Storm Drum 2 libraries are just absolutely huge. You have everything from drum kits so this is one of my favorites, is the Octoplus Toms, which is more of a traditional kind of drum kit sound. And then we have our larger, sort of more traditional drum kit toms, like the lower toms. Those were the really high, sort of, you know, heavy metal toms. already processed, everything's ready to go, and it just sounds amazing. Then we get into the ethnic drums. We're able to choose between, you know, Roman war drums, we have African bull drums, brushed kits, we have Chinese kettle drums. Really amazing stuff. Tabla, Udu. Under the drum kit, we even have the Beast, which is the largest tom ever built <laughs> by Remo. Amazing sounding stuff and slightly panned too as well, which is kind of cool. So under Woods and Shakers, we have Devil Chaser. This is really cool. So what's great about the Storm Drum Library is it's not just big toms and big drums. It also has a lot of weird, interesting ethnic drums as well. When you get into the sound design percussion, we start to have timed drums. So if I go to a glitch drone, this would sound really good in a session that's 135 BPM. Really interesting stuff. We have our ambient tones. You hear that at the beginning of a trailer, right? <laughs> really cool stuff. So it's, it's a wide gambit of sounds that are all made to be very large and very cinematic. So it's great to have these sounds, but the ability to play the sounds in a compelling way, in a way that sounds as though the sounds are being worked with in the right context, it's good to have a good performance. Now I've been doing sort of MIDI drumming for years, but a real drummer is always gonna wipe the floor with me. So let's check out how we can incorporate MIDI performances to make these libraries really sing. <laughs> 